Okay, uh, so hello, my name is Piotr Kwiecień, I'm 18, uh, and let me tell you something more about me. Uh, this is my school. Uh, it's called the Mechatronic uh, Technical School Number no. 1 in Warsaw. My class specialty is uh, programming technicians, so I know something about uh, programming languages, but my favorite ones are Java and Python. Uh, I have several certificates, uh, namely uh, the Microsoft 365 Fundamentals, uh, for instance, which is, uh, I think this is the one I'm the most proud of. Uh, I've also finished uh, a few Cisco Networking Academy courses. Uh, and this June I'm applying, uh, I'm trying to, to, to get the AWS Associate Certificate. Uh, so I've, I've been learning for it, but uh, it's, it's a future vision, you know. Uh, I try to take part in competitions as much as I can because I think it uh, develops me as a person, uh, like every su such experience. Uh, last year I was able to uh, to get to the final of the STEM competition by Politechnika Warszawska, uh, where unfortunately I was missing just one point to, to get the index for this uh, college, uh, but it was a great experience nonetheless. Uh, the competition I was, uh, I, I think I'm the most proud of, uh, has to be the AI Challenge Hackathon, where uh, it was also by Politechnika Warszawska and Bluesoft. Uh, and uh, we, our, our team uh, almost didn't sleep for like uh, three days because we tried to complete this, this task of creating an AI assistant uh, for legacy code applications. And I think it turned out pretty good. I'm very proud of it. Uh, I'm also, uh, I was appointed by my school to, to go to, the, to Finland for, uh, for like abroad, uh, to, to work abroad for one month. Uh, and I'm, it's, it's in six days actually. And uh, I'm very, I'm very happy to, to be able to see another culture and um, I'm, I'm very excited for it. Uh, and in three days, I have a final in Lublin, uh, a final for a competition on, uh, on satellites and using AI with satellite imagery to create something new. Uh, let me tell you about, about my biggest hobby. It's playing the piano. I love classical music. Uh, actually, uh, let me just show you a small fragment of my concert from last year where I played. Okay, uh, thank you. So uh, my other biggest hobby has to be mathematics. Uh, all of this, th all of these things you can see here, I've described in my uh, works that I, I've written for myself mostly because they they go to the drawer. You know, it's it's not that level yet, but uh, but like the the two things on the left are uh, ways of visualizing complex valued functions, uh, which is I think I'm working on right now. Uh, and the, the thing on the right is uh, I, I, I wrote a paper describing the properties of tetration, which is one of the hyper operations in mathematics. And I was able to, to get, get, with the, get this equation for, for its derivative. And I'm extremely proud of it because it took a lot of, a lot of work from, from me. So yeah, uh, I, I also love, love sports, especially water-based sports, windsurfing, swimming. Uh, I have a, a sailor's license. Uh, in, in winter, I go snowboarding. Uh, during summer, I play basketball and volleyball with my friends. Uh, and during school year, when I have less time, I just go to the gym and try to stay fit. Because when you sit behind the computer for like four hours a day in your school, you have to, you have to do something to, to stay healthy, you know. Uh, I try to do a lot of voluntary work. When I was younger, I played in a band uh, which uh, played Indian-inspired music. I played on a Tibet Tibetan bowl. Uh, and we collected a lot of money on charity events for the uh, for fun, the, fun, the foundations taking care of immigrants in Poland, especially from Asia. Uh, when when the war broke out uh, in in Ukraine, I also uh, drove uh, to the to the central railway, rail, railway station a lot of the times and just brought food and supplies there so that I could help in some way. Uh, and uh, I'm also a junior lifeguard at Wopr. Uh, where I did a lot of voluntary work. So, uh, yeah. Uh, lastly, my projects. I have a lot of projects I'm I'm very proud of. All of them are on my GitHub, which I would be very happy to share with you uh, later. Like I could send you a link if you were if you are uh, curious. Uh, 
But the two projects I'm the most proud of uh, have to be the hackathon one and the that I that I've told you be, uh, before about and uh, my iOS chess uh, that I that I developed for multiplayer gameplay. Okay, so uh, thank you for for giving me th this opportunity to present myself and I'm looking forward to hearing your questions. Thank you very much. We are impressed and uh, you are on time. Uh, <laughs> Marzena, may I ask you for the first question? Thank you for your presentation, Kurt. Uh, from what I heard and uh, I've read, because I've read your uh, motivation letter and essay, uh, I see that you have a lot of um, different kind of activities and uh, quite quite broad uh, scope of interest. What is uh, what I wanted to ask is. Where do you see yourself in a few years? I mean, which, uh, which path you would want to go, uh, knowing now what you know, obviously? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think uh, I, I certainly like uh, connect my future with something IT related, uh, some, some kind of programming work. Uh, I love working with AI. Right now I'm exploring uh, the AI branch of, uh, of, the, of the IT. Of, of IT uh, and uh, I I think I'd like to study abroad if I had this uh, opportunity. So right now I'm trying to uh, you know get to know other universities uh, which which this uh, this project would would help me definitely with. Uh, and later I'd like to like, finally I I'd like to to work in the Silicon Valley companies probably. But it's a it's a far fetched vision right now. So but that that's my dream dream job you know. Right, thank you very much. I think that thank you. I'm fine. <laughs> thank you very much, Piotr. Thank you. And I don't know. Mark, no other Maria Chris Skodowska, Maria Chris Skodowska um, inspired you so much that you wrote uh, the, the essay about her. Uh, mm -hmm. Why? What is your really? What is so important in uh, this uh, person you, you you are inspired by? Uh, I feel like uh, even despite the the situation, uh, like we, we we should consider that like she was a woman in the times when when like women were very much uh, this, this uh, like discriminated against. Uh, there were many occasions where she should have go gotten more uh, credit for something and she didn't uh, and she still like moved on and worked worked on something uh, and even even like despite these hard extremely hard uh, extremely hard uh, like you know situation uh, she she still I think she is the the best Polish uh, the best Polish scientist there was. Like looking at the at her achievements, like she was the first person worldwide to get two Nobel prizes, which is absolutely stunning, and uh, ex especially considering her her very hard uh, her very hard situation uh, be because of discrimination. So I think this is this is mm -hmm. the reason. Okay, but what is uh, the most important for you to, to you like the similar in your in in your life? Mm -hmm. I think uh, like I'd like to I'd like to adapt her uh, her uh, willingness to like not not to care about people's opinions and like to you know when when she knew she she was onto something she she proceeded with it even though people taught, taught her uh, not to do it and people didn't believe in her uh, she she went on to discover some extremely important uh, things that are like still still very helpful in, in today's world so i think i think the determination is the the deciding factor was was the deciding factor to choose her as my as my idol okay thank you thank you thank you very much uh, Piotr, imagine that we go to the Silicon Valley uh, and uh, it occurs that we can stay only for one day there and we have only one meeting with one person. Uh, uh, what would be your dream person to meet? Oh my God, my, my dream person. I, I haven't, uh, I, I think I didn't really think of it, but uh, I think people working uh, especially with, with AI, so like... Uh, 
some uh, I, I'm not saying you know I, I would like to meet some CEOs because that's obviously not not the not an option probably but uh, but I think some some people uh, in OpenAI for instance uh, working like very very high jobs uh, which could give me some important advice uh because it's one of the it's it's a it's a company that i would uh i would uh really like to to be able to work in one day uh also like google like most of the i think most of one, the one one person not company, one person one person oh my god mm. and because you, look uh, you never meet if the we... company you meet a person mm -hmm. Okay, so so if we're talking one person, I think I think this CEO. If I if I could dream, if I could dream dream about it, I think the CEO of OpenAI would be would be an extreme like an extremely life changing uh, you know opportunity to to meet him. Okay, so thank you very much. Now is the time for the feedback, uh, Marzena. If I may ask you just for like fifteen seconds feedback. Mm. I see that Piotr is very well motivated, has a very broad interest, and uh, uh, presentation was very well done. So, good work, and I cross my fingers for you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Piotr. It was really good presentation, and uh, I think that you know what you want, and uh, what is the most important, you never uh look what all people are doing you you are precise in your on, on your road in your own life that is important and thank uh, keep uh, i keep fingers also for you mm -hmm. thank you very much thank you uh look Piotr, uh, i don't know whether you go to the silicon valley with us or not but definitely you can be proud of yourself uh, well done, very good presentation on time. Uh, as uh, Marzena and Piotr said, uh, you are a, a, a very dedicated uh, person. Uh, I hope you will find enough boldness to, to achieve your goals in the future. Thank, Thank you, you very much, much for meeting today. Uh, and uh, in about one month or so, maybe more than one month, uh, you will you will see results of your today's uh, meeting. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Thank you too. Thank Bye. You.